all fire signs to your chakra reading for June. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Welcome Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Guys, let's see what's going on with your chakras. Your self-balance, see what's going on. You got discipline coming out. I know I am disciplined. I love it. It's got almost all the chakra colors here. It is saying I am balanced. I know where I'm going and I know what I'm doing. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Keeping that discipline. Great card, too, for a fire sign. Fire signs are pretty disciplined, um, right? And this is taking back my personal power with the intentions of my desires. Ooh, and keeping yourself really grounded over here. Look at all that red in there. So definitely knowing your personal power, standing in your personal power. Spirit says make sure that you are standing in your personal power right now because it is time, right, for your dreams to come in. Transforming. You have this beautiful um, earth star chakra coming through saying, I know where to put my roots deep down within the earth so that way nothing topples me over. I will not move. You can't even, you know, my roots are going nowhere. They're deep within the earth. Um, and we're talking about romance. What? Huh. Somebody's really manifesting that romance. You want that romance. You want that to go. Let's see what else Spirit has over here besides just romance for those of you who are not just doing romance. Um, but wow, some of you are really like, you know what? I'm transforming. I'm going to manifest this romance. I want this person. Um, and I'm, nothing's going to stop me because I know this is my person. What? Look for a sign. else spirit abundance so the abundance could be anything my friends thank you spirit that's a lot better abundance could be your money your anything that you feel it that it's your abundance okay that way it's not always romance because i know not everybody is looking for love um but definitely going after that and then it says in the near future love it so we'll just put these cards here like that and give them room over we'll grab a card for everybody so there we go Wow, very nice. So <laughs> keeping discipline for your abundance, your romance, your money, your career, your job, your house, whatever it is you want. Inner strength, power. But really transforming it. And transforming it is a good thing because you're saying, I can let go of things that I don't like and really learn, right, about the things that I really do want, about the things that I really need to have. Maybe you have some healing that you need to do before you get back to romance, right? Right? Some of you are saying it's a personal celebration that you have, looking for the inner harmony, right? Not wanting to have any conflicts with others. I'm, I'm done with having conflicts. I don't want that anymore. I want something stable. I want something beautiful. I want a relationship for some of you. I'm just going to bring that up really fast. Four of Wands. I want a relationship that we can trust each other, that we love each other. And I'm working for this. Maybe you have already found the one and you are trying your hardest to get to it. I find the romance and looking for the sign. I do. I feel like for some of you, you have found someone that you work well with. Somebody that you want to build a relationship with could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, it could also be, maybe you were having, you know, um, issues with another fire sign. Who knows? <clears throat> um, however it is, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you are very focused. Those of you who are in this romantic area over here, you are very focused. But I'm going to also say that you're very focused on your abundance period. Um, because you were putting all that extra discipline into the situation. Um, so make sure that you are putting that extra passion, giving that extra teamwork, giving in that extra, you know, um, maybe you're even putting in some skill development for your abundance, going back to school, doing things that you want. Uh, on the abundance, you do have the Knight of Cups. Maybe you're waiting for this person to come in and give you love, or maybe you want to be their knight in shining armor and you want to come tell them how much you love them, how much I want to give you this cup now that I've healed, now that I've noticed you, right? Or or they're doing it to you, right? And you needed some healing. Um, however, but it does feel like for a lot of you, there was some healing involved, right? Or just some understanding that I don't want that. I'm taking back my personal power because I don't want people in a relationship taking away my power. Right? So many people want to do that. Yes. Right? Because they want to challenge you. Always putting you in a challenge mode. I don't want to be in a challenge mode. Can't we just love? 
Look for the sign for the six of wands. Absolutely. Can't we just live in love? How hard is it? Give it to me. With the abundance, you have the sun. The biggest yes card. Yes. And here it comes. Whoa. Here comes the communication. Here comes the communication, right, in the near future, right, that you are looking for. This is the new beginning and the new possibility for the abundance, for the romance that you really want. The sun is shining and you're saying, you know what, when this message comes, this is when I'm going to jump. This is when I'm really going to take this leap of faith towards this situation. Because, yeah, definitely you're tired of the betrayal, whether it's at work with coworkers, whether it's in a love situation, right? So you're transforming for, yes, your own wealth, your own happiness, your own family, the things that you love, the things you adore, and the things you want to contribute to in life. Makes so sense, right? So Spirit says, yes, with this wheel of fortune. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> yes, with this wheel of fortune, with this wheel of fortune comes the perfect timing and the moderation and balance of your chakras, right? Keeping the balance and keeping your vitality of the root chakra down for the strength of of the inner strength of the courage huh yeah yeah that's literally came out all three together with this wheel of fortune <laughs> is the perfect timing yes oh my gosh you guys definitely could be dealing with an earth sign because they just had almost the same reading in its own way that's really crazy um or you could have earth in your chart but they definitely are dealing kind of the same, almost kind of the same idea. They have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, wow. If you guys know that you are interested in some kind of romantic endeavor with a, a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, you definitely could be on the same page as them. Perfect timing. Wow, you guys want, might want to read that because if you guys are manifesting each other or looking for each other or waiting for each other, wow. Okay, so I'm just saying, and it kind of looks like that. Yeah, I have the two of cups with the love. With the abundance, we have the ten of pentacles. So it's already you the wealth, you know. <clears throat> Maybe you're waiting for an earth sign to give you a job. Who knows? But, <clears throat> wow, soulmate connection for a lot of you. And I think that because of the destiny, the, the faded pieces over here, you could be literally waiting for a soulmate connection with this person. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got either that or you're waiting for another fire sign. Because I got the king of wands and the queen of wands as well. So doesn't have to be, but it's just saying I'm in leadership role. This is what I want. And it's kind of crazy that the emperor's coming out as well because Taurus, uh, Virgo, uh, Capricorn got the emperor. They want to sit in their emperor. They want to be the emperor because they know who they are and they're ready to rock and roll. So, you know, this is just a great reading, guys. So you guys could be dealing, could be dealing with another fire sign. You could be dealing uh, with a, you know, like I said, an earth sign. Could be anybody. Um I'm also seeing a lot of cancer, too, so. Okay, guys, that was amazing. And see what cards come out for you. Give us some time cards, please, spirit. Ooh, first card coming out is do it. Just do it. I love it. And some time. Within a month. Nice. And another one, please, spirit. Ooh, what's that? Within a week. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. That's within a week. It could be within this week. Oh, my gosh. So just remember, it could be within this week, next week, uh, however, right? So it could be, I'm going to say within this week till a month. Just do it, my friends. Okay. And we're going to get your uh, affirmation for the daily healing. Nice is know thyself it is the most important task you have next card out for you is distinguish the importance of your inner spiritual work from outer success very beautiful okay until next time my beautiful fire signs bye bye